you must deny yourselves, take up your cross, and follow me. This is probably the clearest and best known commandment that Jesus issues in all of Scripture. It's one of the earliest ones we are taught when we're getting to know what Christianity is all about. But it's also all too easily misunderstood. In Judeo-Christian thought, there are really two aspects to our being, our nature and our condition. Our nature is that immutable core, that kernel of who we are, that thing that God implants in us before we even exist in this mortal realm, that thing that was pronounced very good at the beginning of creation. And it is very good. It can be nothing else. It's our true nature. But then there's our condition. And when the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, that is what it's talking about. On top of that good and perfect nature that God has implanted in all of us, there is indeed a temporal and limited and fallible and sinful condition that we all need to wrestle with. This is what Jesus is telling us to deny. He's not saying, deny your own true nature deny your own real desires. Quite the contrary. He's saying, do the hard work of digging through the condition, digging through all the fears, all the pseudo desires, all the distractions, and find the real nature, the real desire, the real God-given heartbeat that dwells underneath. When we find that, far from losing ourselves, and losing our joy and our pleasure, we gain it in a measure that we scarcely dare to imagine possible. So this is the work of taking up our cross, the work of self-denial. It's figuring out what aspects of our condition are getting in the way of our true and glorious nature, denying them, stripping them away, shedding that burden, so that we can be all that God made us to be.